Welcome to ICSC Recon 2018. We're coming to you live from the Cushman and Wakefield booth C1339 in the Las Vegas Convention Center. I'm Alana Leffler and I lead our retail marketing for the America's Retail Services platform. And with us this morning is Mark Barrett, head of EMEA Cross Border Retail Agency. Mark, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Very good. How's your time in Vegas been so far? Uh, very exciting. Uh, it's, it's not a quiet city. Um, I've had uh, about four or five meetings already. Uh, there's not enough time during the convention to get it all in. So uh, taking advantage while I'm in the US to, uh, to meet as many retailers as possible. That's great. And you're based in London, right? Based in London, but uh, because of my role, is, it covers uh, the whole of EMEA. I, I have to pick up every market over there. So I travel frequently, three times a week in a different country across Europe, meeting our colleagues, seeing our, uh, our different teams. It's good. It's very good. That's terrific. Well, it's, it's great to see that we're so well connected and, and moving across different countries and channels. So that's wonderful. So let's talk about hot spots in Europe. What are you seeing that are the big trends now? What's really cool and interesting from a retail perspective that you're seeing on high streets? So probably the biggest thing we're seeing is, is still London kind of drives Europe. Um, it, it is probably losing its place a little bit with the others catching up, but predominantly nearly all international retailers start in London before moving out to the rest of Europe. However, interestingly, Paris uh, is certainly catching up. Uh, particularly with luxury retail, they have a slightly better lease structure with, with more regular break options, so they're becoming more popular. Um, but we're certainly seeing that uh, the main European cities continue to be the main drivers for Europe. Uh, prime locations in those cities continue to outperform everything else. Uh, but it's, uh, it, it's, it's pretty good going for Europe at the moment. Uh, we do have various local issues, country to country, but essentially uh, Northern Europe continues to thrive well. Uh, Southern Europe is, is slightly slower behind, but uh, uh, London, Paris, Amsterdam, uh, all doing really well, improving very resilient in a tough retail market at the moment, so going well. I think probably the standout country that is probably often overlooked, uh, and it shouldn't be, is, is actually Italy at the moment. Uh, the feedback I've got from retailers across Italy is incredibly positive. Uh, the retail sales are holding up very well. and. As a result, the rents aren't quite as high there and it's allowing some good value for retailers. So it's certainly, if it isn't on the radar, it should be on the radar for retailers. So a lot of retails looking in Italy. Um, and what are you seeing in terms of trends? What are you seeing that's cool, exciting, happening in high streets and shopping centers? So uh, in terms of trends, we're seeing a huge move with, with technology coming into the, uh, into the market. Uh, probably the most exciting uh, shop in the whole of Europe, maybe even the world at the moment, is uh, a brand new Zara store in uh, Westfield Stratford, London. Uh, they've opened just under 50,000 square feet uh, and it's fully integrated physical store with its online capabilities. It has a designated area for click and collect. It has a, every, every sales executive has an iPad to help with uh, online sales. You can, you can order online outside the shop and pick up uh, in the shop so you don't even have to queue. Uh, they have fully uh, technologicalized uh, mirrors which when you hold up a garment will scan the garment automatically and pick out the rest of your outfit with you so you can then choose what other clothes to go with it. Oh wow, I love that. It, it is absolutely amazing and it's groundbreaking and it's the first one in Europe uh, and it, it's really, really exciting. And we're seeing how that's gonna lead the way retailers are adapting their, their model. It's not just bricks and mortar, it's now how technology is gonna get involved with that to in, enhance the experience of shoppers. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the fully integrated approach, we're seeing that in the U.S. as well, but it sounds like Zara really knows what they're doing in terms of offering their consumer any type of situation or shopping pattern that they'd like to go for. So yeah, that's sure. great. Um, and so in terms of shopping malls, in general, what are you seeing as a trend? Is there a difference between class A, B, and C? Yeah, very, very much so. I think this is probably a worldwide global uh, trend, really. Uh, Prime, uh, you know, regional malls continue to perform very well. If anything, they're increasing their, uh, their footfall and their turnover. Um, and that is because people are being drawn to the large cities and the large, uh, completely immersive retail destinations. The, the secondary malls and the tertiary malls, yeah, they're, they're in a bit of trouble. Um, we actually have just done a uh, research paper on, uh, on the shopping malls for Europe and uh, we, we see that uh, the secondary and tertiary malls are definitely going to be either redeveloped or they're going to need to reposition themselves to either be more, slightly more convenience-led or maybe adapt. Uh, we're certainly going to see a little bit more residential and office coming in. Um, just that space is a, a premium in most of Europe, so uh, the, the space will get reutilized, but probably not for retail. 
So in order for them to thrive, they're really going to have to curate that shopping experience and make sure that they're, they're thinking about the consumers and what it is that they want from a full perspective and a full experience. Yeah, very, very much the case. We're seeing a lot of more uh, experiential retail, more food and beverage coming in. Uh, we have one of our clients, uh, uh, The Void, which is virtual reality. Um, they, they are sensational and, and they drive footfall like crazy. They can take more lettings and shops. And what that does is it creates a, a point of difference for that mall, um, and it's so unique and amazing. Uh, they have tie-ups with Star Wars and things like that. It's, oh. But it's that kind of activity that, yeah. that makes a mall more interesting. Yeah. The F&B increases dwell time, increases dwell time, increases sales. So, that, and that, that's very much the big main regional malls are able to do that. The, the smaller malls don't have that kind of draw, unfortunately. Right, that makes sense, of course. So, what, so let's switch gears a little bit here. What about um, the biggest developments that you're seeing throughout Europe? What are the top three developments that you're seeing and why are they so exciting right now? So I think uh, one that's kind of been kind of done at the moment uh, is Westfield London. They've just had an extension done. That's, uh, that's part let uh, at the moment. Uh, the, the extension was tricky. It made it the largest mall uh, in Europe uh, at the moment. The, the problem being, unfortunately, at the time that retail is a little bit depressed. So. I think it's been a bit of a challenge for them to, to, to maintain it to be fresh with new exciting retailers coming in. Um, and there's a lot of space, it's 250 stores. Uh, wow. you know, it's, a, it's a lot of retail space uh, and London already has a lot. So I think that's proved probably slightly challenging. Um, whereas we have some other developments that are coming through which are slightly more unique. Uh, we have Battersea Power Station, uh, south of the river in London in uh, uh, Kensington and Chelsea. It's amazing, amazing development. It's one of the most uh, iconic buildings in the world. Uh, it's been on the front covers of, uh, you know, uh, album covers. They've shot films. Batman was filmed there. We've had everything there. And so that iconic status uh, really makes it a different kind of environment and, and makes it unique, which is what retailers want. They yeah. want to be unique. And that's a huge mixed-use development. Yeah, it's, uh, it's located right next door to the new uh, U.S. Embassy. Uh, it's got a huge amount of office nearby. It's mixed use. We have uh, Apple have taken 500,000 square feet of office space. It's going to be their European hub oh, wow. um, because you know Apple wanted to be a special place for their staff to work and to shop and to live, and it has all of those aspects. Um, you know, we're in talks at the moment with some really exciting retailers that are completely new to the market, and uh, yeah, it's going to be some very exciting times for that one. Um, and then we have uh, probably a. It's a little bit further away, but the, the next really big exciting one, it's going to be the biggest one in Europe, is uh, into Costa del Sol in southern Spain. And, uh, square meters, so uh, it's, wow. uh, it's, it's big, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and we're looking forward to that one. It's, it's very early days, but uh, that, that's a great example of a, of a landlord actually thinking a little bit more bespoke. He's not trying to replicate every other shopping center. He's trying to do something very, very different. And involved in something that's a little bit different. I, I, I'm not just building another shopping center and releasing that. It's 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 completely unique, and that's what that's what all my retail clients want from me. They want something different. So right. it's good. Something different. Something that's going to stand out, yeah. be unique to the customers and consumers, yeah. and um, yeah, make a splash. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mark. Thanks for joining us today, and thank you guys at home or at the office or wherever you may be around the world. Thanks for tuning in to us at. Recon 2018 and stay tuned as we come to you live from the Cushman and Wakefield booth throughout the day bringing you some of our latest and greatest retail professionals. Take care.